Hi, I'm Sam. I'm Nadi. I'm 21. I'm 21. And unemployed. Uh, I have no occupation right now. I am currently studying at Brighton Film School. And I'm at Brighton Film School. When I was probably... two or three, I had a recurring dream where I would start off in my bed and uh, start crying for my parents, you know, for attention, mostly. I start crying and then they didn't come. So I was like, oh, that's weird. I should probably check that out. I was their only child at the time. So I went, got out of bed and I went into my parents' room to be like, hey, mummy, daddy, I have a nightmare. And then they both turned around at the same time looking like dementors with hoods over their faces, terrifying demon faces just screaming at me. And then I woke up in bed and I never cried for a nightmare again because that just kept happening. They're actually my earliest memories altogether. One of them is uh, my, the whole sort of race is being overtaken by these two vampires. And um, my parents are like sort of taking care of me or whatever. Like my uncle and my aunt are friends with the vampire and I'm, I go to meet him and then like when I go to meet him like it's all a trap and they've like taken us. I, I think I had that dream when I was about four so it probably is my earliest one. Uh, stopped probably when I accepted that my parents weren't always going to be there for me in my real life. Yeah, I don't, I don't know because, like, as a kid, you don't really understand stuff like that. But I've, throughout my life, I've just always remembered those two dreams. Like, whenever someone mentions dreams, like, they're the two that stick out to me. I honestly can't remember my life around that time that much, but I think maybe that may have been around the time when my mum was pregnant with my brother. So maybe it could have been fear of not being the only one they spend all their time with? Uh, I'm not sure. Um, I think uh, with the vampire one, something to do with trust, because I feel like, you know, because my uncle and my aunt sort of, with the vampires, I think at that moment in time, there was something going on where I didn't really trust them. As a kid, you know when you have those feelings as a kid, like, but you can't explain? I think that's where it was. So the most current, like, reoccurring dream I had was probably ones around sleep paralysis. I had started sometime last term, uh, just, I guess, feeling a lot of stress in my life. And that accumulated into me having a sleep paralysis episode. Um, where I just couldn't move and there was a terrifying dog just by the side of my bed. And that was like proper sleep paralysis. And then after that, I just con continued having recurring dreams where in the dream I couldn't move, but then I also I could move, but it was like underwater. And there was always something about either uh, just me waking up in bed and trying to move out of bed but feeling like a lot of tension not being able to and then I'd get to a point like say turning on the lights and then I'd wake up in bed again and try and get out of bed again and turn on the lights and just continue doing that. A horrible just reoccurring mess of that happening in one episode of a dream and then just things like that happening like every week or so. Yeah, uh, just recently I had a dream where I was like in like London City during night and uh, like Godzilla was walking about loose and obviously the city's in panic. And I, I for some reason, was um, tasked with chasing Godzilla and when I actually confront him, he's giving me advice on how to capture him. And then that dream, like literally then, it rapidly morphs into like a giant football game in the city of London with like all my mates. In the same setting, so it's, I don't know. I haven't been diagnosed, but I think I have like a mild anxiety thing. 
Um, I, yeah, I just get a lot of stress quite easily. Um, and then, yeah, I guess they just kind of accumulate into these dreams. I started recording my dreams because I have very, very vivid dreams. And when I wake up, they almost like instantly go. So I go in the habit of writing them down. And I find out just my dream is just, they evolve so much and it's so random. I find it fascinating to record them because I don't, uh, I don't get a lot of sleep. And when I do, I really cherish it. And I think a part of that is because of my dreams. But you know how it is when you're in a dream, you don't really have the thought of moving. You're more kind of seeing yourself move and just seeing yourself having difficulty moving. <laughs> I think uh, dreams actually kind of inspired me to do filmmaking because I felt like I was enjoying my dream so much, like this surreal world. I would like to recreate that, like, and you know, the easiest way you can do that is in film and stuff. I just find that that sort of universe so much more fascinating like than just the real mundane life.